hello everyone welcome back to the channel this is Austin back again with another simple tutorial in web development so this is a beginner friendly tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can easily style or design your HR element with CSS you can call it the horizontal rule or line that you always draw to separate content on your web page this is going to be very very simple as I said beginner friendly I'm going to show you how you can design them and for this case we are going to be using the border property because it's the css property that can be used to target that horizontal rule and design it i'm going to show you the different styles the default one and you see the difference so let's start with the default one so i'll create a paragraph here and I write default and for the default one we just put the hr and refresh the page and you'll get this default rule you can see how it's very very simple so that's what we talk when we say we talk about when we say the horizontal rule the line that separates content so that's the default one then let us see now the styled ones styled ones press the page and we get that heading so right below here i'm going to create the same horizontal rule refresh the page and you're going to see it there then I'm also going to create another one and you'll see it there and let us create several horizontal rules let's say like I think these ones will be enough and I'm going to assign classes to them so this one is going to be one and this one is going to be two so classes are user defined this is not a framework you can call it anything you want so this one is going to be three and lastly this one is going to be four the reason why i'm doing this we are going to assign stylings to them so i have a file here called style.css and it's completely empty so what i'm going to do is link to that file in the head section this is in the same directory here I'm just going to write style.css so so that we have access to this page so when we come here and say body background and we say red and we shall be having red so that means we fully link to that file to the page then let us start with our first hr line or horizontal rule so the first thing we are going to do is first specify the element that we are targeting or the tag that's hr then inside it this is css specificity then we are going to say one so we are looking for the horizontal rule that has a class of one as you have seen here then we are just going to use the border property as i said and as you can see it has different options right style spacing radius left collapse and we are going to use border top for this property then we are going to assign one pixels or pixels px then solid teal it's kind of teal color so this is what we'll be having teal then let us target the next one so you can see in case I'm to put this on my website, I also use this steel color because it's the theme color for my website. So in case I'm to use an horizontal rule, I'll be using this when I'm designing. Then let's say for the second one, we're going to make it dashed and we shall say HR with a class of two. We say border top. border top we shall say one pixel dashed green let us refresh the page and we are having that dashed green you can see how it's very very simple so depending on what you will be doing you can easily style it so hr three then i'm going to use these dotted lanes so border radius 
on border radius sorry i won't show you how you use a border radius you're still using the border top and we shall say let's say like two pixels dotted red refresh and you'll be having that very very simple and lastly <laughs> this is when i'm going to show you now the border stuff property so for as the plus and we are, shall say border top and i will give it like five pixels then you say solid solid what what color should we give it to gray let's refresh the page yes that's how it looks like then let us give it the border radius of like five still and that's how it will be looking like you can see you can easily design this the way you want if it was on my website as i told you i use the teal theme color so i can do that and that's how it will be looking like so guys if this tutorial was useful to you as a beginner please consider subscribing like the video learn more on this channel possibly be sharing the videos with your friends on different social medias and I will see you in the next tutorials. Peace.